This is amazing. Now we have autogen graph. So what is autogen graph? Imagine you have multiple agents working together to deliver a product. They randomly talk with each other to create the final product. Definitely they are going to create a product, but they are going to have unnecessary conversation between each other. So the conversation is going to be random. This will lead to loss of time, increased cost, and it is not effective to manage a team. By controlling who should talk to whom and who to deliver the task to whom can be predefined. That's when we use autogen graph. You might think this is more sequential, but the real power of graphs will come when you add multiple number of agents and multiple number of teams. In this way, you are efficiently creating a flow which saves time, saves cost, and finally it's more effective and get a good result. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Autogen Graph. In this, we are going to see how we can control agents flow. We are also going to see a use case where we have three teams, team A, team B, team C, and we are going to control the flow between those teams and get a final answer. I'm going to take you through step by step. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So in this, we are going to randomly give each member of the team chocolates. And ultimate goal is to count total number of chocolates given to each team. So each team is going to work in group and these members can't talk with other team members. Only the team managers can talk to each other. So how can we control the flow between these team members? and finally count the total number of chocolates in each team. First, conda create hyphen and autogen python equals 3.11 and then click enter. Next, conda activate autogen. Now pip install pi autogen graph matplotlib and network k and then click enter. Now export your open AI API key like this and then click enter. Now let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. Inside the file first, import random matplotlib network x autogen conversable agent assistant agent, group chat, visualize speaker transition dict. Now we are going to configure the large language model. So here we are mentioning that we are going to use GPT-4 Turbo Preview. You can use open source large language model by changing the model name and also base URL in this location. You can also integrate Olama. So as a first step, we need to create nine agents with three teams. So now we are going to define the names of the agents using a function called get agent of name. Next, we are creating empty agents variable, graph dicts variable, and secret chocolate count variable. Now we're gonna create three teams, A, B, and C, and then give instruction to all the team members one by one. So in this, we are looping through the for loop, then we are creating agents here. As you can see, we are giving names to those players, A0, A1, A2, B0, B1, B2, C0, Z1, C2. So this loop, will automatically create all these agents. Next, we are generating a random number. That is the total number of chocolates we are going to assign to each individual agent. So that is a secret chocolate count. We as a programmer know the number of count by printing the value, but these agents don't know the value. So even if you are a player in a team, the umpire knows the number of chocolates given, but the team members don't know the number of chocolates each one have. So here you can see the first character of your name is your team. So if it says A, so every A members are in one team, B members are in B team, C members are in C team. If the name ends with zero, then they are the team leaders. So these are the list of instruction which we are giving for every single agent. Now next, we are going to create condition on which player can talk to which player. Here we are going through the loop again. So graph dict is the real graph. So here we are mentioning that anyone with A can talk to any agent in the team A. So that's what this loop does. So B team members can talk only to B team members. So it's like A0, A1, then A1, A2. So if you see the next commands, then you will understand. So we are mentioning A0 should talk to B0. They are the team leaders. A0 should talk to Z0. B0 should be A0. We can even write these members like this, then the total number of lines of code will increase. By looping, we are decreasing the number of lines. So even you can manually write 
all the players like this. So this is how you control how agents can talk to each other. Now we are going to add graph visualization. This is optional just for us to understand how many chocolates each individual player has. Now we are defining the is termination message. Now creating the user proxy equals and then assigning the is termination message function to this one. So whenever there is a terminate message, automatically the program gets terminated. That's what this means. Now next agents dot append user proxy. So we already created nine agents. So among them, we are adding the user proxy. So he is the main user, the initiator. Now we create group chat in that we are listing all the agents. And this is where the whole thing changes. We are giving a variable called allowed or disallowed speaker transitions. So this is where we define the graph dict, the one which we created before, which controls how each and every member of the team should talk to each other. Now creating a manager equals group chat manager. So he's the manager who is going to control the whole group chat. Now agents zero, we are choosing the first agent that is a zero to initiate chat and providing the message. There are nine plays in this game split equally into teams A, B, C. Therefore, each team has three players, including the team leader. The task is to find out the sum of chocolate count from all nine players. I will now start with my team and next is A1. That's it. So as a quick overview, we created nine agents and we gave few chocolates to each of the agents and we gave a instruction to follow. Next in the graph dict, that's where we define how each and every agent should respond and to whom to respond. Then we created the user proxy agent who is the one who is going to terminate once the program completes. And finally, we are making all these agents to work together by creating a group chat and assigning a manager to the group chat. Finally, we are initiating the chat from the first player. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. Now you can see a visualization automatically created this is the one which I mentioned is optional. So here you can see player A0 has one chocolate, A1, two chocolates, A2, three chocolates. And you can see the flow A0, A1, A2. These three members only can talk with each other. A2 can't talk to B2. So all the messages between A1, A2, A0 is being sent to B0 or C0 only by the team managers. Now here the player A0 is informing the player number A2. So A2 has two chocolates. Then A2 pass the information to the next player. A1, two chocolates, A2, three chocolates. Now it's passed to A0. That person is the manager or the team leader. Now we got the total number of chocolates for all the team members. Now it's passed to B0, the next team. Now again, B0 got three chocolates. B1, four chocolates. B2, two chocolates. So as a member of a team B, I have two chocolates. That's the team leader of B0. Next, it goes to C0 and Z0 total number of chocolates is three. C1, one, C2, two. Finally, here is the overall summary. Team A, six chocolates. Team B, nine chocolates. Team C, six chocolates. Totally 21 chocolates and terminate message. That's it. Now we controlled the flow between all the team members. This is just a game but you can implement the same concept if you want to create a software development team where the developers can work together, the testers can work together, the product designers can work together, the project managers can work together and you can control the flow between them to get a finalized product with less tokens spent, that is less cost, more efficient and in less time. That is the advantage of Autogen Graph. I can see now the Autogen Graph and Lang Graph are competing with each other. I'm really excited to show this and I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.